in the first demonstration, I had built the pot up, you know, about uh, three or four inches uh, from the base. Um, keeping in mind my drawing, I started to build more coils up in the wall, trying to, to copy that same kind of form to the pot, and I used this as a template in order to do so. You can see at the top here, I've got some coils that aren't quite blended together yet. And I wanted to show you how to use these wood ribs, and I've got a variety of them in the classroom, to help you get um, a more perfect form to your pot. As you can see uh, from my drawing, this rib just happens to fit almost perfectly the shape of the shoulder and the neck of the pot that I'm going for. So I'll be using this eventually to, to refine that shape. I have this other rib um, that I'll use to help me start to blend some of these coils together. So I have blended it, I kind of rough blended it with my, uh, with my wood knife, just to make sure everything is well attached. And then I want to start to refine that shape. And that's when I'll start using this other wood rib. And I'll start to blend in a, an opposite direction to really help smooth those out. I'm supporting it on the inside so I don't collapse the pot. And I'm refining and smoothing as I rotate the, the clay around. And that takes some time. One thing you need to consider is how wet or dry the clay is. For example, if this was really wet down here, there's no way I could do this work up here because the pot would just bend and perhaps even collapse. So I've got to make sure this is pretty sturdy and good leather hard consistency while I do this work on this really soft clay up here on the top. So I'll just keep working my clay, taking my time with it. Eventually, to get it really smooth, I'm gonna take a sponge with some water on it, a little bit of water, and just start to refine that and smooth that out. Our goal is to get rid of all the little bumps and creases. We don't want this to look like it was made out of coils at all. Nice and smooth, just like that. So to finish it, I like to rub my thumb over it. Really cleans things up nice. Okay, so you can see from that point, I've started you know, to do pretty good as far as the shape of my pot goes. Um, I've got to really start to maybe work on that shoulder and push that shoulder out a little bit more. And to do that, I'm going to come inside the pot just start to push that out a little bit. Of course, there's much more refining to do over here. But as soon as I feel comfortable where, where this part of the pot is, I'm gonna cover that up with some plastic and set that aside. And just like the ancient Greek potters, I've actually got to start on the neck of my pot. I'm going to build this in three sections. So I started here at the uh, base of the vase, but there is going to be a section underneath. And then the neck from about there up, I've built right here. And I've built it upside down so that um, it's just sturdier on the base. It's easier to blend when it's upside down like that. And I've started to blend some of those coils together. Again, I'll just start by a rough, a rough blending of the coils, make sure they're tacked together really good. I'll do that not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. What I like about building this in sections is that I can take this piece and work from the bottom and the top at the same time. Okay. 
since it's easier to work upside down, I'm just going to continue to work upside down. Now this rib, like I said, was really close to the same shape as my original drawing. So I'm going to start to use this rib to really refine the shape of the neck of my pot. Just through repetition, going over it again and again and again, smooth things out a little bit. That's the process I'll continue to do, back and forth. You can see it's starting to get a really nice curve to it, just like the, the, the rib itself. So eventually, when both pieces are pretty clean, I will attach these two together, score and slip them together. Let me get this one done. that piece and then that piece will nestle right on top of there there'll be some cleaning to do I'll probably put a coil around that part this is really soft right now so it's still early too early to attach it but eventually I'll score and slip those pieces together and they'll be pretty close to my original drawing okay now here I've cut this to make a picture out of it and that's what I'll do here as well. Well, I'll cut this down. I'll eventually add a handle onto it uh, to turn that into a picture. But then there's still the matter of the base. So I'll do that in a third section. 